Have you ever wondered how to set up a chroma key or green screen backdrop? Well, stick around as I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to set one up coming right up. What's going on everyone, Claudio here. If you're returning back to my channel, huge props to you, thank you. Dankeschön, muito obrigado, gracias. If this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to my world of photography tips, video techniques, and all things creative. If that sounds like something you'd like to check out continually, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on that button and turning on notifications. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to set up a green screen, give you some ideas for lighting, and then share with you several tools or apps that you can use to edit your green screen footage. Before I continue, let's make sure that we're all on the same page as far as what green screen is. Green screen or blue screen is a term that's used commonly instead of chroma key. It's basically the process of taking a specific color or chroma and removing it and then replacing it or keying a different object or matter in its place. So why is green or blue used instead of any other color? Human natural skin tones have no blue or green hues to it. Technically, you can chroma key any color, but what happens if you use white or black, you, you run the risk of skin tones bleeding into the backdrop. And basically that's the gist of green screen or chroma keying. If you're interested in learning more, I'll have some links to some websites you can check out. Okay, so let's move on to the green screen. First thing first, you're gonna need a backdrop or a wall. Now you'll wanna pick materials and paint that are not glossy or shiny. In my case, my studio here, I have walls that are painted gray and walls that are painted black, so I'm not going to paint my office with chroma key paint. So I'm going to be using this green cloth material known as muslin. You can pick up these muslin backdrops pretty much at any photography store and probably on Amazon as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up this backdrop behind me and then show you some tips about lighting. Okay, so I was able to set up my green screen here behind me. It is a little bit off. It's more to one side than the other. You can see this kind of gray section, but it'll work out as an example here so you can kind of see. To get the best results of your green screen, you want to have sufficient light hitting your backdrop as well as your talent. In my case, it's me. Here's a diagram so you can kind of see the way I set up my office. You'll see that I have the green screen set up. I'm about six feet away from the backdrop and I have the light kind of off to my side here, but you kind of see where I have light set up. So it's kind of evenly hitting the backdrop and then how much light is actually hitting my face. So what I'm using right here is an LED ring light. Now I actually have it in view so you can see it. In the case of shooting a video, I would actually have it off to the side. I might even have two of these, one to my left here and one to my right. And then I have these smaller LED lights right here as well to make sure that it just is evenly hitting the backdrop. And I have an overhead light here that I can boost up with the click of a button here. So I'm gonna go really, really bright right now. Hopefully you saw that change. So I have it right now set to 100%. This will ensure that I am well lit. I've been fortunate enough over the years to collect all these different LED lights. And I want to tell you, don't go out and break the bank. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up a couple of shop lights, get some 55 Kelvin LED lights or even fluorescents and space them out. You can use some shop lights. There's these little dome aluminum lights. Just make sure and put an LED bulb on there so that it is giving you that correct lighting. Put those all around your office. You'll be in business with those. All right, so I've talked about using either a backdrop or painting your wall green. I've also talked about different lighting that you can use for capturing your green screen footage. The next step is actually editing the footage. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and put all this away in three, two, one. Lastly, I'll need to take my captured green screen footage and key in a video or image in the background. I'm going to edit my footage using Adobe Premiere, but you can use other tools such as 
Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, DaVinci Resolve, and iMovie. The concept basically will work the same in all of these apps. You'll just have the tools named differently and in different locations. So I've got my media in my timeline and now I'm going to add some keyed elements. I'm going to go to effects and choose ultra key. Now, once I grab this ultra key effect, I'm going to drag it to the layer to my green screen layer and then i'm going to go to effects control i'm going to choose on key color and then click on the green of my green screen layer and that's basically it in my opinion this is the easy part the hard part is making sure that you have enough light and you have everything set up just in the right spot if you have an iphone there are actually some apps out there that you can use to capture your footage and edit right on your phone i'll have a link to a comparison video up here somewhere I hope this has been helpful. If it was, or you have a question, please do add it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the icon, one of these two locations here. Thank you so much for watching and remember, be good to one another. See you next time. Peace. I'm out of here.